everybody, I'm Jake Alexander, and welcome back to the Twinkle Podcast. Now, on our last trip to the vault, we were just starting to get some meat on the bones of our discussion about the MCU with my buddy Mike. So here now, part two of our discussion of the MCU. Listen, man, I, I'm not saying you're wrong, okay? I'm not disagreeing on that part of it. You, you're pretty much spot on. All I'm trying to say is that when you, a character that I absolutely love and cherish, I'm watching it on film. Mary Jane that I'm betraying is a white redhead. The Ned character is not a overweight Asian. Okay, he's not. Um, but that's just the, what they're trying to do. Fine, if that's their universe. Fine. It's tough, but you know what? Being that Spider Man, I'm I'm still gonna watch it because I love the character. And now I will see the next three films. And if it's in the MCU, it's gonna I'm gonna hate it. But I, I have to watch it because I love Spider-Man. As I said, the thing about it is they are because Sony isn't giving up the rights. I mean, they, they'll be tied, but they won't be in the MCU. If so, um, here's the thing. And you know what? That's the worst part about it. This is what baffles me the most. is because Disney literally ha- Marvel had to really save Amy Pascal's ass on Spider-Man movies. That's I, right. can't, I can't figure out why you would need their help. It's not that hard to make a good Spider-Man film. It's they absolutely, not. They, do, they, they did need the help. You want to know why they need the help? Because, because like you said before, Sony has this big problem. They'll do something good and screw and then, it up. And then they will screw it up. They will rattle off the most nonsensical garbage to follow it up. Like, what the hell were you all thinking? And they needed all the help they could get. Just get some good directors. I'm like, here's the thing. I understand that Christopher Nolan probably wouldn't even want to do any of these films. But I tell you what, get like someone that get, get a really good director that could just take this movie, make it into a good script, develop the character. Kind of like he did the Batman. I would love Christopher Nolan directing the next Spider-Man. But that's a, that's that's easy. That's easy. That's easy to say out loud. Oh, just get a good director. You're never actually going to know if somebody's going to direct something well until it's done. If he gets free reign, now that's the problem with Disney. They don't get these directors, but these Marvel movies, they don't give them free reign. They literally give them a black and or a, a blueprint. Of what they want, and then you can kind of do some things you want. But this is how we want this movie directed. They really don't. Have... But that's not a Disney thing. That's not a Disney. That's thing. not Disney. John no, no, Watts no. just pulled out of the Fantastic Four I movie. I know that, but that's not a Disney thing. That's... You know that, right? You know John Watts yes, pulled out of the Fantastic Four. That's, that's not a Disney thing. That's an MCU thing because everything has to fit within a certain guideline because they're building arcs, right? This arc goes here, but then this arc kind of splits off and goes here. And this art kind of splits off and goes here, and it goes higher and higher until you get this one big gigantic. Dude, art. you killed off you killed off our Robert Downey Jr.'s character. You killed off Civil, uh, Captain America's character. Hey, man, he's just. And then, and then you're now replacing Chris Hemsworth's Thor with Natalie Portman's character. Is that I'm not in the comic? It's it's in the comic, but it doesn't sell. I'm trying to tell you, man. People are not going to see but, these uh, movies but, in the but, future. But, but here's the thing: who's to say that Natalie Portman's character as the as Thor stretches beyond this movie? How much you want to bet, Jaquan? I'm betting it's not. How much you want to bet? I'm betting it's not. Have you listened to Kevin Feige on interviews? Yes, I did. But Have you I'm listened bet- to Kevin I'm, Feige? I'm still betting it's not. Okay. Hey, you're telling the yours, I'm telling the mine. I will put money on it. I haven't been Kevin wrong. Kevin Feige I, has I've literally given you a blueprint. Again, blueprint I've only been wrong. I've only is. been wrong twice in the, all the years of the MCU. This might be the third time, man. I'm I telling know. you, man. Kevin I don't, Feige. I don't think, I don't, right. I don't think uh, right. Jane as Thor stretches beyond this movie. Okay. I don't because you want to know what I kind of think is going to happen by the time this movie's over. I think because the whole point of the movie is that he's he's basically giving up being you know the god of thunder. He doesn't want anything to do with it. He's trying to find himself. He's trying to find himself. Yeah, and that's fine. Really trying to find yourself. Yeah, but I mean, but isn't that what most people do nowadays? That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Hell, people were doing that long before now. That is not a new thing. Hell, I did it. I did it long before these movies ever came out. Look, searching for yourself, trying to figure out who the hell am I in this in the, in the grand scheme of the universe. Everybody does that at some point, whether you know it or not. Most of us do it, you know, just in our heads. But hell, whatever. Um, I don't think I don't think it's I don't think Jane as Thor stretches beyond this movie. The whole point of the movie is that Thor is basically out there trying to find himself. He doesn't want to do this, that, and the other anymore. So what I think is going to happen is by the time the movie's over, by the time the movie's over, she will no longer be Thor. No, she's going to pass on. No, Chris Hansen was going to pass on Mimir. To Jane, he's probably gonna die in the end. No, he ain't gonna die in the end. He's not. <laughs> he's gonna go back to he's gonna go back to being Thor, the god of thunder, wielding Mjolnir. But what happened with Stormbreaker? Who had Thor? Who had Stormbreaker in the comics? So it's, you saw his face before. I don't know if Thor's character. I thought Beta Ray actually. Bill. I believe Beta Ray Bill shows up in this movie at some point, and he takes over Stormbreaker. Thor goes back to wielding a hammer. He goes back to being king of Asgard. Because remember when he left, he left Asgard's Valkyrie gone. in charge. Asgard's he, gone. 
No, but no, but it, new Asgard. You know, he goes back to being king of Asgard. Because remember, they got the whole city and northern whatever. It is. Well, yeah. But I, I, I think that's how it shakes out. I don't think I don't think she lasts beyond this movie because everybody was so worried that she was gonna she was gonna last through all three movies and she was gonna do like well, no, she was pretty much one movie and eh, the second one was in the third. I'm just saying the record. I have nothing. Here's the thing. There's a lot of great women superheroes. I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. What I'm trying to say is I don't like where. The woman characters are pushing their agenda where the women are the like uh, they're, they're the mentors teaching the men superheroes how to fight. But nobody That's no, what I have a problem. With. What hero is what female hero has done that in the movie? Ant Man and Wasp. No. Yes. No. You don't recall. You don't recall the second movie. I, I understand that, but she wasn't teaching him anything. Yes, she, she was, was trying she was to teaching, get away from him. She was teaching him how to fight. That did. But let's be for real. That's what they're doing. But let's be for real. This is uh, this is Scott Lang. Everybody has to know Scott Lane something. Scott doesn't know anything. That's his character in the comic. He doesn't know nothing. So of course you got to show him something. Somebody has to show him something. The person who actually knows how to use the suit is showing him how to use it. That's fine. That's nothing wrong with that. That's technical knowledge. Hell, Tony had to learn from somebody. Tony Stark had to learn from somebody. Everybody has to his learn father. from somebody. Yeah, his father. I did, and that's fine. You learn from a woman, you learn from... That's fine, that's fine. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I think it's going to be repeating in more movies now. No, and because... It, it's because gonna, it's demeaning, demeaning men. You have, you, you, have, you have not once, outside of that, had a woman teaching a guy how to be a hero. You've never seen that. That, is, that has not happened yet. It's happening now. No, no, no it's not. It's going to happen in Super Time. What? It's gonna happen. Who, who? Just watch who? Doctor, watch Doctor Strange. I, just like in the comic, Ironheart is a genius who built her own suit. Now, in the comic, Tony went to her and was like... Mm pretty good, right? This, that, and the other. Gave her a little leadership. Tony's dead in the MCU, obviously. How the comics sell? I don't know. I never read it. It wasn't my thing. Just look it up on Google. They didn't sell very well. It, but so what? So what? It ain't like she's getting her own movie. She's getting her own TV show. So It's a TV show. It's what? Five, six episodes? Seven, max. They'll probably discontinue with the third season. Episode no, three. no, they won't. No, they won't. Okay. Because, because guess what? Um, Sam Wilson as Captain America Captain Falcon in the comics and, and Captain America. That didn't sell very well. But the series was okay. It wasn't terribly great. It wasn't terrible. But it was okay. It, it was in it the middle. Could have, it, could so good too. it could have been. And honestly, I think the problem I think the problem with um, uh, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier was they didn't technically have a villain. That's why. They, so didn't, they, they technically didn't have a villain. They didn't have any so somebody that's really challenging. I think Anthony Mackie's a good actor. I really yeah. like. I thought he was a great part. I, I still do. If you just direct these shows, you, let's go back to what we're talking about. Okay. So no, we're still talking about the same thing. Because we are because I'm going to talk about how it's all. Remember, we had a, you, and I, you and I had a huge fight, and we might actually start fighting now at this point because that's where people are going to be really seeing it, how you and I have such a hostile act when it comes to our passions with this stuff. Have at it. Oh, I'm going to, do, I'm going to go nuts on this one. Have at it. So Disney owns Marvel. Yep. Okay, when they bought them, I almost cried. I'm like, oh, great, here we go. You know what this means? Kid stuff. And I understand <laughs> comics were for kids. Not always, man. Adults I, buy I, comics too. I understand that, but just like I said before, the comic books are... They are they are for kids. Now. All right. They are, they so it's the, we're, it's the end of the world. We're trying to we're trying to defeat the villains of the world. So we're gonna tell joke 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 joke. Make people laugh in these movies. I don't want to see that crap. I want to see action. I want to see seriousness. I want to see a jet. I want to see some good. What's Marvel? Plot. What's what's Marvel as as just as a thing as, as a monolith? What is Marvel? Regular people with powers or with abilities learning to be, you know, trying to step up and be greater than than who they are in order to keep people safe, right? As versus to DC, where you have people with powers who are literal gods, basically. But that's to do anything what I just said. Because here, here's what I'm saying. When you look at the MCU and you worry that, oh, why is all these jokes? Because that's what normal people do in stressful situations. They'll joke. It's, a, it's, a, it's just a reaction. It's either that, look, it's either make a joke, and this is, not, this is just regular humans. This is why the MCU is better than the DCEU in pretty much, well, I'm not going to say all of them, but pretty much every other comic book movie. This is why they generate the so much is more. Bad. Um, DC is bad. It, this is, but this is why. Because these characters are human. I understand Thor is technically a god. Not technically, he's a god. But they have problems. They fall apart. They make mistakes. So now I can see myself in them. Just like when I was reading the comic books when I was a kid, I could see myself in a, in a There's few nothing characters. wrong with telling a joke there and a joke there, trying to make the audience laugh and try to get, you know, a little kid going, hee hee hee. That's fine. 
But don't do it all the time. But what the movie? Film. But what movie? What comedy? What MCU movies? And let's stick with the MCU. What MCU movie was a stand-up comedy? Are you kidding me? You can't figure out in one movie you think. None of them. Oh my God! There's. T- I didn't say none. The of Avengers them. Endgame was had a ton of them. Where? I didn't say there were none. But where was it like just one after another? And it, it, it was chopping up the movie. That didn't happen. There was chops through every single like sequence. Every uh, every cut, there was probably one of them. Now, d- but if you're talking about one per scene, is that, is that t- that's too much? One per scene? That's that's too much. That is too much. How is that too much? I'll tell you. Here's, here's that. Mary, I know we're talking about the MCU, but let's look at... Did you see the new Batman movie? Yeah. Of course I saw it. I thought it was great. Damn, nine out of ten. Damn near perfect in Fantastic. my opinion. Fantastic. I love the detective Batman approach. He literally was Bruce saying what? Maybe... Scenes, that's it. Yeah, that's right. Batman, that's, Batman, that's perfect. Was it dark? No. Very. Yeah, was, I, did, I didn't consider it dark. I thought it was dark, and I like it. Was there a lot of comedy? Hardly any. Maybe like one or a couple, maybe one or two scenes. When but it was. that's Batman. That's fine. But that's what I'm talking about. If they can just do that on one Marvel movie, just one, I guarantee you it'll probably be the most popular one of them all. They'll generate the most revenue. Highly doubt it. I don't think so. Highly doubt it. I don't think so. Look, look at Deadpool. Look at Marvel. Look at Deadpool. Look at Marvel. I mean, I mean, look, look at Blade. Blade was dark and no comedy. And what happened? Did well. Blade one did really good. The but sequels did, weren't good. But Blade no, one was awesome. But wait, like you said, did it generate more revenue than all the new movies? I was check. No, nope. I know Deadpool. Not even gen- close. I think Deadpool. Not even did. close. Ant Man generated more money than, than than Blade. But let's talk about Deadpool. I, what about Deadpool? Deadpool is Deadpool. Exactly what you saw in the movie is exactly what's in the comic book. Yeah. Deadpool's a complete fool. And that's fine. It, but it, betray, it followed the exact source material of Deadpool. Eh, nah, never. Really. Almost. It was pretty close. And that's re- fine. And, but you don't, but I mean, you said it before, you don't have to follow 100% and get, every, it, 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 was, it was almost just like the comic book. You don't have to do that. I never said hey, you did. look at Watchmen. Watchmen was just like the comic book. Most, yeah, most, most, most people, yeah, I, but it was poorly directed. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Watchmen is the absolute penultimate of comic book movies. It was perfect. It was exactly like the comic book. It was exactly like the source material, the graphic novel. All the people that were in it, even I was worried about a couple of people, and I was like, I don't know if you can do it. Great acting, great directing. It was beautiful to look at. Nobody, whenever they start talking about best comic book movies, nobody ever brings it up. Hell, look at uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Another comic book movie. Hey, I can read that. Yeah, but it's way. exactly what you asked for. It's, it's, yeah, it's comedic, but it's not popular characters. It, so, yes, it was. It was popular enough for somebody to look at it like, they're going to make a movie out of that. That's like I said before. These dudes are not just sitting around talking about, oh, this, this is trash. They ain't talking about that. They're looking at it like, that's good enough where we can make a movie. With somebody, we're going to make money off of this. They're not just throwing stuff against the wall and see what stick. You know they're not. At no point in Hollywood did somebody ever do that. Has somebody ever... Has, have, have they... The TV have, shows are literally thrown against the wall and see what sticks. No, they they're are. not. No, yeah, they are. Yes, no, they are. No, no, absolutely not. All these things are thought out. But whether or not you like them, whether or not they... Once they're conceived and they're done, do they resonate? Are they good? That's a whole different story. But they aren't just, eh, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, what about the Captain Marvel movie? Why'd they cancel it? Which one? Captain Marvel. They canceled it. Why'd they cancel it? They didn't cancel it. They moved it to premiere date. That's all they did. They swapped premiere dates uh, between Captain Marvel, uh, the Marvels, and what was the one they moved? They moved up. Uh, they moved up Quantumania. That's all they did. They literally, it's the exact same year that they were coming out. We're having a Brie Larson. Nothing. They just they just swapped dates. That's She's all they did. Done. They kicked her out. I did, that's fine. I didn't want to see Brie Larson as Captain Marvel anyway. I didn't, me and you talked about this. If they were going to do a Captain Marvel movie, I want them to do the original Captain Marvel yeah, she, uh, what was her character name? Because I don't follow that. Uh, I know she was a. Um, oh yeah, what was her name? The character that was portrayed oh, after, okay. after Marvel. Yeah, it's uh, oh, so you done made me. <laughs> you done made me forget, <laughs> made me forget it. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, she was it's, awesome. It's the black that, woman. They, yeah, they, they, yeah, she that, that was a good character. That is something they can. That that's something. They and she's do. and the same woman that played her in um, in uh, Wandavision is going to play her. But she's not going to be Captain Scarlet Marvel. Scarlet Witch, man. They are really pushing Scarlet Witch down my throat. But, I can't but Scarlet, stand but that Scarlet Witch is that in the comic. She's that important. She is. I just don't like her as a character. I just don't like it. That's just my opinion. How do you not like an Omega level uh, being? That's like saying that's like saying that's like saying you don't like Thanos. 
No, there's no Yes, no, yes. No, 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 yes. No, no, no. I mean, she's not a villain. I get that. But that's what she is. I was trying to explain this to um, uh, the new guy at work. I've got his name, Jermaine. I, I, I think that's his name. I was trying to explain it to him in every instance because she's a um, Nexus character, right? She's a Nexus being. In every iteration, in every level of the multiverse, she is exactly the same. That's why so many other characters, so many demonic figures try to use her to get into other planes and use her, you know, and manipulate her into doing things for them, which is exactly what you're, which is exactly what you're going to see in Multiverse of Madness. That's the whole point. They're doing what's in the comic in this. Now, you can't run an entire movie of just her because nobody's going to see a, want to see in a movie of just her, right? So they're overlapping it with Doctor Strange, which makes sense because Doctor Strange and her, their characters overlap time to time. Which and that's what I'm trying to tell you. They're not. They're not just just making things up as they go. They they are thinking these things through. Now whether they resonate or not with you, that's a completely different story. My personal opinion. I don't, okay, I think they're really going. To, they're swinging the fence because here's the thing. This is a big movie of theirs. They, this is going to be depending on how successful this movie is. It's going to be the direction of where they're going to go. If this movie flops, which I think it probably will, nope. that's your what, opinion. What do you call a flop? But honestly. Flopping is but you can't say you can't say anything less than a billion dollars. It's not gonna make a billion dollars. No, I'm just saying, but you can't say that. that oh, it didn't make a billion. It's a flop. I don't think it's gonna make six hundred million dollars. I don't. I think it'll get close. I, I don't. I didn't. I didn't. I never thought six. I'm, I was thinking more like five, five fifty. I, I wish I, you know, I went on the way here. I was trying to find. I was trying to find what the uh, total revenue was for Doctor Strange one because I love the first one. And I think it, I, I think it'll match Doctor Strange one. Love the first one. It didn't wasn't it? I love the actress that played the ancient one. She's a phenomenal actress. I love watching her in films. I forgot her name. I didn't like her as the ancient one. Okay, the ancient one. If you follow the comics, that's that's being you know he's no no the old age. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, whatever, but whatever. But, but see, but that goes back to what I said before. Universe. No, it's not even about universe. When that character was conceived, the character was a bit of a racist stereotype. Just a little. You so they Don't portray it that way then. I did, but the, that's the thing. It's like it's it's kind of hard. Hollywood has this has a real hard time stepping away from stereotypes. They always have. That's not nothing new. That's not new. Let's be for real. That's not new. Right? Look at look at Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington is probably one of the greatest actors of all time. Oh, totally Would you agree? agree? I totally agree. Anything I've ever seen Denzel Washington in. I was like, man, dude is great, right? Fantastic. Got nominated for an Oscar when he was in Glory. Oh, good flick. Great story. One, yeah, it's a true story. One of my all-time favorite. Actually, I that love that. That was Battle of what? No, it wasn't Battle of the Gaze. What was that one? That was the... Um... No, that was the one that uh, followed the 54th Massachusetts. That's right. Yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. Uh, first Black Regiment. Um, his portrayal in that movie was great. I thought he should have won Oscar for that, but he didn't. So you go through this entire so going, going stellar career. Don't get me started on the Oscars. No, no, no. I, 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 I don't care about the Oscars. No, I always thought the Oscars were stupid. Stretch. But the whole different story. Um, he goes through this entire stellar career where he has played every single type of character to the point that he doesn't even get nominated. But everybody is like, this dude is better than everybody else. So why hasn't he even get nominated? But the first time, the first time, he plays a stereotype, which is just a, 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 a black cop who's obviously crooked because he can't do nothing else. They give him the award for that one. Right? Mm-hmm. Makes no sense. Hollywood has always had a problem with stereotypes. They just, for some odd reason, they they have a hard You're time. You're my point. Hollywood, Hollywood sucks. I did it. Dude, so I'm, not saying, mo- I'm not so saying is the movie industry. I'm not saying Hollywood don't have problems. Oh, they got more problems than anything. And, 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 that's, under, and that's understandable. But, but you But stepping away from it, and trying to run from it and not just make movies anymore. They ain't doing it. Oh, that's, that's, of course, yeah, no, but, that, to... but see, this is what I'm saying. All right. That they they couldn't do the ancient one as an Asian because they would have fucked it up. So what so what did they do? They went and they put a really good actor, even though it's a woman, right? Instead of a man, they put a really good actor in a role. I mean, yeah. I know you're actor. You can't, I mean, you can say actor for both. So here's the thing. I don't want your viewers but, thinking uh, I'm like some kind of misogynist because that's true. There's a lot of good women superheroes that I like. Okay, I'm going to say that flat out, but it's not don't have a lot of them in the Marvel and the Marvel universe. I love Catwoman. Okay, I'm a big fan of Catwoman. I like Catwoman. I, I, I'm, I'm, I like I'm 50 50 Catwoman. Okay, I'm a big fan. I'm not against her, but I'm not for her. Eh. Okay, I love Wonder Woman. 
Okay, I think she's awesome. I think Wonder Woman her origin story is trash, but I think she's a good character. Good character. O- overall. Overall. Okay. Overall. Thank, thank you. At least we can agree on that. Okay. Like, Kill me here. Um, I should think of another one that I really like that's in the Marvel universe now. Uh, Marvel of Felicia Hardy's. Black Cat. Black Cat. Yeah, she's solid. Um, God, there's an uh, Sh- Shriek. Uh, you know the uh, Carnage. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I the, the same her. Yeah. Oh God, she's great. I love her in the comics. That was another thing. Oh God, Venom Two is so bad. Oh, but we are not about to review all the movies. Oh my god, it's so bad. I can't. I know, if we say they're review the movies, we'll be here a full day. I we know. don't want to do that. <laughs>